What is up guys, TechRex here. So in this video I'm going to do the regular hot boiling water test for the iPhone 6. Now if you guys recall, I did this with the iPhone 5S and it survived for about 17 seconds until the screen started to black out. I believe the battery died. iPhone 5C, it took about 29 to 31 seconds. And then the Samsung Galaxy S5 was about 3 minutes and then I actually survived, but then it still glitched out moments after, you know, I took it out of the water. So I'm going to see how well the iPhone 6 survives. This is going to be really interesting to see. And you guys can see that, or you guys can tell that this is a brand new. And I'm going to go ahead and just, just do this. Take this film off so it goes straight into here. All right, let's go ahead and open the stop. And I'm going to do my best not to click any Safeway ad or anything. I'll just try and click start and then drop it immediately. So it might, hopefully it doesn't splash or anything. And it could be off by a second or two or maybe even three, but I'll do the best I can. So, all right, start. Okay. All right. Okay, so something weird happened. Oh, are you kidding me? Did it, did it click something? Oh man, what, are you serious? That was like, what was that, eight, nine seconds? Yeah, temperature warning and then instantly black screen. This is incredible. I did not imagine this to, hold on, let me just flip this over. That, that's just like instant death right there. I mean, no, at least it, it was, I mean, iPhone 5S was actually battling. It was a good 17 seconds. This is pro, this was definitely under 10 seconds. Um, so I'll let it cook here for a little bit more. But you could see, you know, this this warning went off and then black screen. I'll show you guys. This is just normal boiling hot water. All right, so let me just go ahead. That was incredible. I don't even know why. Uh, I think pre I think I accidentally did something and it moved away from that page. But let's go ahead and take this out. It seems like it's already dead. All right, let's see what happens if I, ah, oh, that was hot. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try and cool this off and see if I can turn it back on. All right, guys, so somehow miraculously, I actually just rinsed this iPhone under cold water and it turned back on completely, perfectly normal. Everything works, I actually just wiped it off with a towel, that's it, everything is working perfectly fine. I think it was just the temperature warning that kicked in so it made the phone shut off but it actually didn't really damage any of the internals so you could still see it's a little bit wet but um, and the camera is a little bit foggy I think from being submerged but it still works like everything actually works so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this um, oh wow okay so it's still running okay so let's let's try this one more time hopefully I don't screw up this time but again Round two, start. All right, yes, looks like we're doing good. Let's take a look. Seven. Oh, again, again, it's at that nine nine second mark. I don't know if it's if it's just because of that warning or if it's actually the battery this time. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, this second time after rinsing it with cool water, I was not able to get it to reboot. Um, I tried everything, I tried pressing all the buttons, I wiped it with a paper towel, but it's just no signal, nothing. So, 9 times 2, which, uh, you know, it seems like it was 9 seconds and 9 seconds, I'd say about 18 seconds. So, uh, I, you know, pretty much in par with the iPhone 5S, um, which is, I guess, it's pretty good. iPhone 5C, though, definitely um, was a huge improvement, and then Galaxy S5, that was just um, amazing at 3 minutes. But, of course, you got the water resistance, so... Um, but that is pretty much it, guys, for this water, hot, boiling water test. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and try and, like, see if I can just... Oh, wow, okay. Throw it in there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and let this soak in here forever. As always, guys, peace out.